hey, hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be tackling the Christian tag. I'm going to be answering some questions about my faith. So let's just get straight into it. So the first question that I have for this tag is how long have you been saved and when did you become saved? There isn't exactly like a exact moment where I can say like this is when I accept accepted Jesus into my life. I've kind of always known Jesus and always been a Christian like I can't remember a specific moment like Jesus has always been a part of my life. I've grown up in a Christian family, church and Jesus and my faith has always been a huge part of my life, but I can definitely say that there has been huge milestones along my life where my faith has, you know, grown immensely at a specific point, whether it be like my confirmation or a, a camp I went on or um, a sermon I listened to. Like there are a couple, you know, pivotable, pivotal, pivotal, is that the word? Pivotal? Um, moments where I can say that like that's where my faith took a huge turn. I hope that answers the question. There isn't a specific uh, moment where I can say that I accepted Jesus into my life because he's always been in my life but there's been milestones along the way that have helped me grow in life. So the next question is what is your favorite Bible verse and what does it mean to you? So I have two that come to mind. The first one is Jeremiah 29 11. I'll put it on the screen for you. It roughly says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. Now this was a really, really helpful verse for me when I have been trying to figure out what to do with my life, when I haven't really had um, answers of what path my life should take, um, whether it was straight out of university, uh, straight out of high school trying to figure out like what university I wanted to go to or what career path I wanted to choose or you know in the last eight months where I've graduated university and now I got to figure out what I'm doing with my life. The second verse that comes to mind is Proverbs 3 5 to 6 which says trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all ways acknowledge him or something along those lines. That's been really helpful um, also in those stages of life when I don't know what's happening um, and I just got to try and trust God um, really really hard to do but um, it's a process and I'm still learning and this verse has been really 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 helpful in trying to do that. So the next question is, what is your favorite Christian song and why? Now I have a whole video dedicated to my worship playlist. I'll put a card up here and I'll link it in the description as well. But my all time favorite Christian song is Blessings by Laura Story. I love that. The first time I heard that song, I, I basically like nearly cried or I did cry. I resonated with the lyrics so much. Yeah, and, and it's a song that the lyrics I'm, or symbols of the song I'm tempted to tattoo on me because that's how powerful and awesome they are. The next question is, what is your favorite Christian book? So apart from the Bible, I mean, obviously the Bible is every Christian's favorite Christian book because it holds truth and the only truth. Apart from that, I've only really read a couple of Christian books. The first one I ever read was called Taming the Tiger. It's by a guy called Tony Anthony. He um, was a Kung Fu like champion warrior person and he went to prison and then he came to the Lord in prison and it's kind of just his story doing that. Um, awesome book. Um, I actually got to see him preach once and he signed my book and it was really cool. So there's that. But at the moment I'm currently reading this book called Love Defined. It's by some ladies here on YouTube called the De Girl Defined Ministries, Kristen and Bethany. They wrote this. This is their second book. I haven't read the first book but I thought this book would be so much more relevant to me in my life. It's called Love Defined and it's about, you know, God's design for love, romance, and relationships. And I thought it was really interesting. I am nearly finished it and I'm loving it so far. So if you're, I'll link it or something down below. But yeah, that's my current favorite at the moment. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about church? I have been in the same congregation my whole life. Like I've never moved churches before. Um, so one thing that I really, really love about 
church or my church in general is the community everyone is so loving everyone's so welcoming there there's it's always this embracing um, atmosphere where everyone's always willing to talk to you and that people are invested in your lives and it's really really sweet and I really love that the other thing I like about church in general is just it's it's a place where you get to worship the amazing God that we have and yeah whether it's um, a traditional you know Lutheran service which is my church or if it's like a contemporary non-denominational kind of service which I've been to as well I just love you know spending time praising God because he's great the next question is if I could meet Jesus right now what would I do or what would I say the first thing I would do if I met Jesus right now would I is I would run straight up to him and give him a big old hug. I think I've mentioned it in passing in some other videos, but one of the things that I struggle with in terms of my relationship with God is that there's no like physical relationship. Like I can't go up and hug him or like cry in his chest or like whatever it may be. Like there's no like hug or handshake or holding hands. Yeah, like that's what I really struggle with because that's how I communicate and relate to people is I hug them or I, yeah, like I'm, I'm a physical emoter if that makes sense. My emotions come out physically. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But anyway, so one thing that I would really, really, really love to do is physically hug Jesus. That's, that's, I think it would be the best thing ever. It would be the perfect thing ever because he's perfect. And it's just, I just can't wait to the day that I go to heaven and I get to hug Jesus because it's going to be great. The next question is, where is the oddest place that you have prayed? So honestly, I pray anywhere and everywhere. If I'm in bed, if I'm on the train, if I'm on the tram, if I'm on the toilet, if I'm in the shower, if I'm driving, if I'm like you think of a place and I probably prayed there. I try and pray all the time. I try and keep God amongst in a part of my day all the time. There's always things I need help with, always things I'm struggling with, always things I'm thankful for and grateful for. So it's just a constant conversation with me and my Jesus and I don't really care where where I'm having that conversation because it's just between me and him, you know? <laughs> the next question is, are you ready if Jesus were to come tomorrow? So that's actually like a really real question. I honestly want to say yes, yes, I'm ready for the Lord to come. Like all my things are in order. Like I'm a, I'm a believer. Like I know what's going to happen. Like all of that kind of thing. But I think the reality is, is I'm probably not. I'm probably not ready for him to come. The next question is how do you openly talk about your faith or share your faith? The, the main way that I share my faith is how I live my life. So I like to be very loving and kind and I try and show Christ's love to everyone that I come in contact with. Sometimes it's harder than others but you know that's life. <laughs> so if I'm living this certain way showing Christ's love or living kind of separately and different to other people it lets them ask questions as to why I'm doing it and then therefore I get to tell them that I'm living this way because I love Jesus and he calls me to love too. I'm pretty happy to talk about my faith with anyone who asks but I'm not the kind of person who's gonna like walk down the street and be like have you met Jesus do you know who he is like I'm not like a walk up evangelism kind of person I would rather like get to know someone have an actual relationship or friendship with them and then let them see my life and Jesus in my life and then go from there. The next question is what denomination are you? So I was brought up in a Lutheran church and that's the church that I go to today. So what do you feel is the biggest struggle in the church today? The church isn't perfect because we as humans are perfect so yes there are many struggles that have come up because of the church and within the church. The one that I think comes to mind straight away is judgment. We as Christians sometimes get into a habit of, of judging people and treating people kind of less than us. I've definitely done it. A lot of people do it. It's not at all what Christ calls us to do. We are called to love people no matter what they look like, what they wear, who they are, how they live. We are called to love them and welcome them into Christ's family and tell them about Christ as much as we can and let God do the rest. So yeah, I feel so that's something we could definitely ask the church work on. So the next question is, who do you in your life look up to because of their faith with Jesus? So my friend Olivia is the person that comes to mind immediately. She used to be my mentor and she is just a ray of sunshine because of her love for the Lord. Like she is always bright and happy. 
willing to talk with you about things, really willing to share, you know, how God's working in her life, giving advice. Like she is just like a bundle of Christ love and her love for the Lord is so strong and so powerful and that's really admiring. I want one day my faith to be that deep and that overflowing into everyone that I meet as well. So thank you, Olivia, for your presence in my life. <laughs> I really appreciate you and your love for the Lord. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. Don't forget to subscribe. The button is just down below. And if you want to click that notification bell, you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and remember don't forget to hug someone today bye